Hey there, was we're here again with another skill guide. This time we're looking at woodcutting. My plan at this point is to release one of these skill guides every other Sunday. So that's 26 a year. So it would take about a year to get through all of the skills. I've already done archaeology and now I'm moving on to woodcutting. If there's a specific skill you want me to look at, please leave a comment below as it'll give me some inspiration on what skill to do next. Anyways, as all guides will start, we're gonna look into the important items first. Hatchets are the tool we use to get our wood cutting done. We're gonna start off with the Dwarven Army Axe as it acts as a steel hatchet and gives us bonus experience while cutting regular and oak logs, which we'll be doing up to level 30. At 21, we switch to a mithril hatchet because it the extra damage from the hatchet overtakes the bonus experience that the army axe gives and then you move to adamant rune dragon and crystal crystal we actually unlock at level 71 but you require a quest that requires 75 wood cutting so i'll have to use the dragon up to 75. the note about adding the rune hatchet to the tool belt if you add it to the tool belt it will automatically downgrade to an adamant and mithril Hatch it while you are in that 21 to 31 and 31 to 41 range. So at that point, don't bother with um, buying a mithril or adamant hatchet. So in terms of getting the Dwarven Army Axe, teleport to the Berthorp Lodestone, walk a little bit east and north, and there will be Major Mary Rancor. Talk to her and ask to claim some free items. I've already done that, so for me, it's I've lost my Dwarven Army Axe. It's still in my bank, so she doesn't give me one, but that is how you get the hatchet. Next up, we have the Lumberjack outfit, which provides 1% BXP per item worn. There are a total of four items in the set, um, and you get an extra 1%, so a total of 5% for wearing the entire outfit. It's obtained from the Temple Trucking minigame, the Zombie Bridge. When you kill the zombies, there's a chance for them to drop a Lumberjack piece. The Nature Sentinel outfit is the Elite Skilling outfit for the Woodcutting skill. There are a ton of boosts associated with them, but there are two main boosts that we care about. The 7% higher success rate and ability to spawn a miniature elder tree. This is got by woodcutting fragments, which you can start getting at level 70 woodcutting, but it requires 80 woodcutting to make the outfit. You only have one of the complete outfits and not all three of them. You only get a 5% higher success rate instead. And as mentioned before, the Dwarven Army Axe, which acts as a steel hatchet and provides more XP when using on oak and regular logs. On the next slide, we have the Lumberjack Aura, which provides a 3 to 15% increased success chance for your woodcutting, depending on the tier. Uh, I personally would maybe suggest going up to tier 1 or 2 and then saving your loyalty points for something else. The Ring of Whispers, which is a quest reward from Sliska's Endgame, provides a plus three invisible woodcutting boost. And basically what an invisible boost is, is that in game your level is, let's say 38 woodcutting, but in terms of your success chance, it thinks you're level 41 woodcutting. So that increases your XP per hour as you have a higher success chance. Next up, we have the perfect juju woodcutting potion, which can be bought on the GE. It has a 5% chance to double logs which also grants double experience so it's essentially a 5% xp boost i would suggest using this at all times while woodcutting it is very good and finally we have the log splitting scrimshaw which has a 15% chance to destroy logs which give an extra 20% more xp on the other hand i would not suggest using this it's 250k per hour to use approximately and the extra xp you get is about 5,000 so you're paying about 50 GP per XP so really really not worth it. So this slide is an excerpt from my ancient invention perk video which will be in the link in the description. It's these are the perks you're going to want to put on your dragon or crystal hatchet. Pwned 6 is the best it's a 12% success increase rate. Uh, if you want to cheap out a little bit you can do 9 sharp which 
pretty much guarantees you honed five in a couple attempts. Um, so that just brings the cost down to one mil instead of nine mil for a 2% loss, which isn't that much. Um, for your second gizmo, you're gonna want to have Furnace 4 as that doubles the experience. It basically does what the log splitting scrimshaw does, but it provides 100% more XP and it doesn't have any maintenance cost. And then if you're doing woodcutting as a money-making method, say elder trees, and you don't want to burn the logs, you can get Fortune 3 Imp Sold 2 or 3, which has a chance to double the logs and bank the logs for you. Burns are an incredibly powerful thing, and every skill that has them, you should probably be using them at all times, as it's a 20% XP increase, or 25% if you have the Urn Enhancer from Nomad's Elegy. There is a crafting level required to use them, but if you don't have that crafting level, try to find a friend or clan mate who has that crafting level, and then you can request their assistance, which allows you to add the rune to the urn to complete it, and you don't need the crafting level to teleport away the urn, so you don't need to worry about always having that boost. Next up is the Beaver Familiar, who, like the Ring of Whisper, provides an invisible woodcutting boost, so it's the best familiar to use. The only other possibility would be if you're again doing Elder Trees and you'd want a Water Fiend Familiar instead to have a 5% chance to double the log. Skill Chompas are very good, but right now they are very expensive. If they ever settle back down to the 600 to 700 GP range that they were before archaeology, I would suggest using those on high level items as it provides 10% more XP when you succeed and should you have failed it provides 5% of the success XP. So if you were cutting a log that gave 100 XP, you would now gain 110 while chopping it and getting success and then if you didn't succeed and you failed you'd gain 5 XP. The um, chinchampas can just go right in your inventory and they use there while you're wielding your augmented item to still get your perks. And finally, there is Torstal Incense Sticks, which just give a flat 2% more XP, so you're essentially trading GP for XP, and they're pretty much always worth using when training, especially such a slow skill like woodcutting. Now we're gonna move into the leveling methods, starting at level one. Before we get into the individual uh, leveling areas, I just wanna show off something you can do with the action bar. One of the annoyances with logs is because you can craft and light them, they are a pain to drop. You have to right click, find the option drop, or if you hit the item on the action bar, it just brings up this screen, so you can't really do much. But if you organize your action bar like this and place it on the bottom row, you can then right click in the middle of the log and then when you right click left click in order you can drop an inventory very quickly. So that's just something I wanted to show off before we did that as sometimes it's quicker to do that instead of banking the relatively inexpensive logs. At level one you have to cut regular logs so one of the good places to do this is the Grand Exchange where you can just go around the edge going from tree to tree and then when you get a full inventory you can just quickly run to the bank and bank them all. You'll be doing this up to level 15 and it should take approximately 10 minutes. Once you reach level 15, travel a little bit south and there will be this cluster of three oak logs around this guard tower and a bank extremely short by over here. Um, these logs, now that you're up, up to 15, will now have multiple logs per tree, so it's very unlikely that you'll run into a situation where all three oak trees are down. Keep chopping here until level 30, which will be about another 35 minutes. These logs are also worth about 500 GP each, so they are worth banking for some low level GP. At level 30, we move to Draenor Village, just southwest of the bank. There are these five willow trees that you can cut. You'll almost never run out of all five of them, so you can kind of just AFK, and you'll be here until level 35. 
close enough to the bank that when your inventory is full, just dump it in there. At 35, we now have the teaks as we need to go into this area, but it's fenced off as it's very valuable trees. So we need to pay a hundred of these trading sticks, which can be bought on the GE every time we enter that door. It only costs about 800 total GP. And then you just chop down the teaks here. There are so many that you're pretty much never going to run out, but you are so far away from a bank that it's best to do the dropping method whenever you have a full inventory. You'll be staying here up until level 47. There's also a chance to get a special teak log, which allows you to plank an inventory of teaks for free. This isn't really worth it anymore because of how low teak planks have gotten. So I would just destroy those logs when you get them. From 47 to either 67 or 80, we move to Acadia, which can be found in Menaphos. There are a couple um, things to worry about in terms of reputation. The first thing is this bank chest over here. When you get tier two Imperial District, it becomes a bank deposit box. And when you get tier six Imperial Reputation, it becomes a full bank chest. So you can use that as a quick way to get rid of the logs. Additionally, at level eight, permanently improve your wood cutting success rate within the Imperial District when cutting Acadia trees. And then one other thing is this VIP area. It allows you to go into this area with a bank chest extremely close by, four Acadia trees, some sandstone, and some fish. You need level seven overall reputation to be able to access this area. Should you want a more AFK way to train, you can go chop ivy at level 68. I find the north of Falador to be the best location to go because it's pretty close to a lodestone over there and it's right by this energy rift. So if you see it open every hour, you can go in and do your daily caches without fretting about it. Overall, once we get to level 80, we're gonna have to do a ton of quests in order to unlock the best method from there. The quest, The Light Within, unlocks the expansion to the Ancient Spellbook with the Saren Spellbook. And the main spell you get out of it that is really important is Crystallize. So basically it crystallizes whatever you're cutting and you don't actually end up getting any resources from it. So each spell lasts 30 seconds and takes six fire, water, chaos, and soul room. So you just go here, you have it on a friendly keybind, you crystallize, and then every four ticks you'll get an XP drop. And then you just keep doing that over and over again. And when the bar gets really low, you just click your keybind, click the tree, and the bar resets. And this is the most XP per hour all the way to 99, but I'll show some two AFK detours you can take. So the first detour is the crystal trees, which the easiest way to get to is to go to the max guild garden and you'll have access to one of these portals as long as you have a singular 99 skill and you retune it to the active crystal tree. And then you can just enter this portal and it'll take you to the active crystal tree as each world only has one active at a time and you just mine these shards you don't get any actual items, but you get relatively good XP per hour for how AFK it is. I personally did this on mobile a lot as it was very low intensive and the kind of thing that's good to do on mobile. So at 96, you're able to chop golden bamboo, which can be found on uncharted islands on the Ark. This is an upgrade to crystal trees in terms of XP per hour and it's as AFK as it gets as you don't need to do anything except for stop yourself from 
lobbying. So you can just sit here. Um, it maxes out at about 200k experience per hour, but you can get a little bit of a boost if you also have contracts to do. So as we've wrapped up the regular training methods, I thought I would highlight some of the things you can do. The first of which is capping in a clan citadel. You can do this once a week and you need to get a total of a third of your total cap, whatever that is. For ours, we're a tier seven clan. So we have 2,700 as our cap. As soon as you get that, you'll get that you have skilled enough this week to earn an experience boost from the quartermaster. So you can teleport to the keep and right click the quartermaster here and claim XP. You can claim it in any of these skills as long as the skill is level 40. I would advise against summoning because it's drastically reduced and woodcutting or mining is the two best, but let's just grab woodcutting here and it was 38,000 at level 99. That'll scale down as, as your level could be lower. Next up, we have divine use, which have a level requirement of 60 woodcutting. There are two possible locations you can go, either World 2 at Reset at Birthorp, which is very busy, but has logs all over the place for you to chop from. Or you can go to World 48 if you have 2600 or higher total, as it'll be a lot less laggy as people are more organized as they're all standing on this one square and chopping the trees. You can chop up to 500 per day if your total level is 2,500 or higher and you use 40 beeswax to extend it. If your total level is lower, your total cap that you can chop per day is lower. I would highly suggest if you are between the level of 60 to 80 to make sure you go to Divine Use whenever you can. Um, the XP per day is over 100K. You just get so much out of it that it speeds up the training in that really slow grind as you build up to 80 to be able to unlock Crystallize. And that's going to do it for today's guide. If you have anything to add about the skill, please leave a comment down below or have suggestions for the next skill. Otherwise, have a good day. Consider subscribing if you like the type of content I'm creating.